so I guess everybody had a beautiful lunch. <laughs> okay, um, the reason I called everybody is that I want to intimate you with my next line of action. Um, darling, what are you telling us again? It's not a surprise. Maybe he wants to buy a real estate or change our cars to the company. Ah, <laughs> Imelda, you're just so obsessed with material things. Oh, and what is your problem with what she said? Yeah, please go ahead and say whatever you want to say. You don't even know what your father is going to say. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I decided to bring in my late brother's children, Amanda and Nina, into the house so that they can come and live with us. I made a promise to my brother, and I want to fulfill that promise. Are you for real? And if I may ask, why? No responsibility. <laughs> anyway, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Okay? I am out of here. Please. Excuse me. Come on. Oh, uh, excuse me. He hasn't got an option. Please. Do what you want to do. Oh, Dad. Daddy. You know already this house is too small for us. Shut up! Try and be reasonable. Ah, Dad, I'm sorry about that. You've sorry. made the right decision. You're serious. Thank you, sir. That's why you're a man. I knew I could count on you. Dad, well, I'll, I'll make the arrangement soon. Reasons for taking such decisions. Are you still on this? Yes. I ought to have taken this decision a long time ago. Really? Yes. Then you should have brought your late brother's corpse to be buried here. That's a very silly thing to say. What's that supposed to mean? It means that they are not welcomed here. Period. Well, sorry to disappoint you. I am the head of this house. I take decisions in this house. I've already taken this decision and it stands. No one can change it. So get that into your head. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah. You are welcome to my home, Raymond. Come on. Okay, sit down comfortably while I get you something. Okay, sit down. Welcome. My brother, I'm coming, I'll be with you in minutes. Rosie. Original, Rosie. <laughs> uh, open the gate. I want to go. Hey, hey. Rosie, this your dressing, eh? Is very suspicious. So I need to investigate you. I need to uh, interview you. Uh, you know where you're going. <laughs> I don't have all day. Just open the gates. No, I know why I'm asking. Must I tell you I'm going to? Okay, chief security officer will open the gate and go to the market. Hey, hey. Now you're talking. Eh? 
See, I'm only asking because of distress call or a missing person I so that you can call me for backup. Eh? Hi. I'm telling you, you're going to the market. Can you just show your machine? I didn't know that you were going to the market. See, it's not because of your size, though. Ah, see, if I take poison, I'll be fatter than you. Or if I even allow my village people, two, only two of them to swear for me, ah, I'll be times three of you. Eh? Yeah? So, you want to intimidate me? So, you're pushing me with this size? Don't worry. I'll marry two wives. Join them together to push me. Don't blame me. Because I did not join you. American name. Is it true that you were still smoking? No, Mom. You know I can't do such thing. Mom? I don't get it. Why don't you caution her immediately instead of you ask, uh, asking her such question? Shut up. You don't expect me to run into corporations. Did your brother see you smoking? No, Mom. You know I can't do that. When... Will you shut up your mouth? Do you, want me, do you want me to use my hand on you? What's your problem with that? Mom. I really can't believe you want to spoil your only daughter. Excuse me. Of course, that's what it is. I saw her smoking, and all you could. I'm, I'm, I'm totally disappointed. Seriously, Oscar. I don't want to believe you are walking out of here. Mo, I think you should concentrate on Imelda. Teach her the right thing to do. She's the only girl we're having in this house. Excuse me, Oscar. Oscar. Bring down these things, the bags. Okay? They bring down their bags. Uncle, let me carry. No, no, no. You bring them down. Don't worry, let's go inside. Uh, hey, Uncle. Oh, this house is very fine, you. This is your new home. Come on, let's go inside. Thank you. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. Oh. This is home. Hello, Hello. darling. Yes, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You're welcome. Well, make yourselves comfortable. Just feel at home. Okay? Um, later you go into your rooms. Just feel comfortable.
Don't be excited yet. Because we're not fully welcomed. I love you being here. Okay, don't worry. I, I will. Uh, let me just call you back. See what we have here. Good evening. Amanda, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, Lena, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good to see you guys. When did you guys arrive? Today. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I know it's today. I mean, I was trying to know what time. Oh, in the afternoon. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Come on. Don't just sit down there. It's not the best way for you to greet your own blood. Come on, give me a hug. Lena, good to see you. <laughs> Amanda, I'm so happy you guys came. That said it that you were coming, so. Mm. Yes, and I'm sorry we are in your room. Actually, the room that said we should go in is locked. So we decided to rest a while here. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have a problem with that. Come on, Amanda. You are free to stay. Even if you want to spend days here, weeks, months, years, this is your home, okay? You're free. This house is yours. This house is for every one of us, okay? I actually came to pick up something. But, um, when I'm done, I'll come and see you guys later. Okay? Okay. Once again, feel free. Lena! <laughs> uh, that's your fully welcome, Dr. Hmm. Don't be in a hurry. Uzo must leave this compound right this moment. What? Can you imagine that Uzo letting those dirty girls into the room? Why would you do such? Melda, I overheard your voice. Who are you referring to as dirty girls? Amanda and Lena, of course. They are the dirty girls we have in this house. Mom, please stop, okay? Amanda and Lena are not dirty girls. And I think this is just too early for this quarrel. Please. See, there will be peace in this home if those two pigs leave this home. Come on, will, will you shut up that thing? Yeah, you don't. Don't leave this thing on my daughter. Didn't you hear what she said, Mom? Amanda and Lena are free to stay with us. They are free to do whatever they like. Excuse me. Don't mind your brother. He's just like a father. Don't oh mind And I'm just like my mother. <laughs> so you just have to calm down. Action speaks louder than words. Exactly. That is your mother. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I trust you. you know what I can ah. do? Just keep going. Okay. I'm under the Questions. Yes, ma'am, I did exactly what you asked me to. Okay, I'll okay. 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 okay.
Where's Rose? How come she didn't serve the table complete? Honey, but food is served. No, but we still have two people who haven't eaten. Where's her food? Ah, they can eat in the kitchen. Will you shut up your mouth? What do you mean they can eat in the kitchen? What is wrong with you? Rose! Rose! Let's yeah. start up then there. Rose! Sir. Come here. Where's the rest of the food for my nieces? I'm sorry, sir. I prepared very little food. Are you saying there's nothing else you need to do? I'm sorry. She'll be sorry for yourself. Get away. Sorry, sir. Eat my food. Oh, 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 no, 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 sir. Uh, we ate before coming. Really? All we need is where to lay our heads. Um, the room is locked. What? Who locked the room? Who locked the room? I did that. I'm moving into the room by tomorrow. Yeah. Will you leave that food this minute and open that room? But, Father, now! I believe you're not dead. What are you still doing there? Oscar, what is it with you? But what are you supposed to do? Excuse me. Table manners. Yeah, oh, no, thank you. Thank you. You're not the team of it. Make sure you And I mean, you should have even made sure all this was settled before they come to eat. That's what you should be doing. Stop eating. Thank you. So you know quite all right that you're very hungry? Yes, I know. We are not welcomed here. Okay, let me just go outside the gate and try and see if you can get something for us. It's already late. I know. Don't worry. Let me just try. Hmm? Okay. And let me tell you what I want. I want <laughs> Fanta. This big one. Look at your work. Still awake by this time of the night. Yeah, that's because I'm not feeling asleep. Why? Why? Okay, you can sleep now. Just let it and close your eyes and sleep. Okay. I will sleep, but I need to ask you a question. Can you give me any reason for which you are not comfortable with the presence? of my brother's children in his house. Why is it? I don't understand how you can just wake up all night and bring in total strangers to come live in my house. Who does that? Point of correction. Those children are not strangers. They are my brother's children. And they are part of this family. Can you call my brother's children strangers? You must be truly out of your mind.
and it was fine. And you? Great. How come you woke up this early? Where's Rose? You're not supposed to be doing this. She's still sleeping, I guess. Yeah. Oh, really? I've been doing this every day, so that's the part of it. Well, it's okay. Um, by chance, did you see my phone? I left it here last night. Oh, I saw a phone. Oh, this one? Okay, yeah. Thanks, sir. I'll finish all the you're doing, and I'll see you again. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'm really sorry for what happened yesterday. It was not my fault. Oh, that? <laughs> I understand. Thank you. <laughs> I never heard about that breakfast. I'll probably call. I'll see you later. <laughs> I was so delighted and relieved to have a morning devotion this week. It was a beautiful one. And then um, Lena led with songs. I didn't know you had such a good voice. However, why I called everyone is just so that I'll make you understand. Everyone in this house is equal. No one is more equal than the other because we're not in the animal farm. Where some are more equal than others. Everyone has equal rights. I need to make that one clear. Especially with the arrival of Amanda and Lina. We all have equal rights in this house. We are guided by one blood. Okay? Equal rights in my house. How do you mean? You heard me right. Everyone has equal rights. You're going to continue the school you are attending because I'm going to pay your students. Okay? Hey, thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super proud of you. I am proud of you too. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, Dad, I'll be needing some monthly allowance. I'm really broke. It's okay. That will be for tomorrow because I'm going to give you and your sister's money tomorrow. I remember telling you that I need some money for my little things that I need to pick up. It's okay. It shouldn't be a problem. We're talking about school fees now. Talking about money. We'll talk about asking. Okay. Bedroom. Okay. I'll be waiting for you then. Just a short breakfast is ready. Alright? Excuse me. A short breakfast is ready. Okay. Hurry up to the kitchen. Three ladies. Come on. Three of you.
to allow that to divide this home? Simply because of those gold diggers. <clears throat> really, I am disappointed at your father's attitude. Uh. But don't worry. His desires of satisfying his late brother's struggle will be fertile. You really have to do something about this. As soon as possible. Before it gets too late. Because I can't bear these people in this house. Mom, Mom, I'm talking to you. Keep quiet. I am thinking. Ha. Lina. Oh, hello, Oscar. I see you reading. Yeah, I'm not reading. That's good. Ah. I want you to dress up. I want to take you out for shopping. Really? Of course. I'm going to get you some deep clothes, shoes, easy wears. Thank you. That would be nice. You're welcome. So, up, 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 up. Okay. Don't keep me waiting. Okay. Uh, when you're done, just knock at my door. Okay. <laughs> My resignation letter, sir. My husband to be happens to be the son of the CEO of Anglo Group of Companies, and I will be rendering my services there. Oh, I see. Well, that's interesting. It's all right. Um, I will take that to heart, and I will just wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Take care, and always remember that Basement Africa is a company with a difference. Always show our standards and keep company secrets. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll give you to the prepare a check for the accounts of the to pay you off. Thank Once again, I thank you. I always remember you're welcome here. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. This address. This address? Yes. Uh, number five, Swiss Avenue. Yes. What are you going to do there? <laughs> My friend is there, and I know he would like to see me. Hey! <laughs> he! Yes, he! 
Eh? Eh? Okay. Do you know the place? Uh, second Street on your uh, left. Uh, on your right. Uh, second, second Street. Uh, second, second Street. Second Street. Uh, left or right? Uh, 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 I know the place. I'll show you. Okay, show me. Yeah, that was how I lost everything. At the point I thought I was going to die, but thank God I'm still alive. Oh. I'm very sorry for everything you've been through. I just believe things will fall in place soonest. Yeah, trust me. I believe so too. But tell me, what are you doing in this city? <laughs> well, my younger sister and I, we now live here with my uncle. Mm. Yes, so I decided to make use of the address you gave me, you remember? Yeah. I decided to use it to track you down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Yeah. that's so thoughtful of you. Okay, just give me one minute. Let me get you a drink. Hey, hey, where are you? Humble yourself. I mean, you they look, only you they move. Put down. Hey! I'm diapers today for this house. Good afternoon, Auntie. Where are you coming from? I went to see my friend Alex. You went to see your friend Alex? Do you think my house? Is where you practice prostitution. I beg your pardon, Auntie. Will you shut up? How dare you beg my pardon in my own house? Now listen, let me tell you. You just have to be very careful because your days are numbered in this house. Stupid. Come on, get out. I said, get out. Ah! Ah! Get out of my sight. What happened to you? It's nothing. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to you, Amanda? My mom, right? Your mom doesn't want us here. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for whatever she might have done to you, okay? This is your home. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm fine. Okay. Amanda, this is your phone. Don't forget that. Okay? Mom! 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 Oscar, why are you screaming like I Oh, Mom, please just stop! What did you do to Amanda? Are you okay? What is your business with how I treated Amanda? Well, it's my concern, Mom, because Amanda is also my sister. Look, Mom, I think you should stop being hostile towards them, okay? Except you don't want my respect as your son anymore. Oscar, are you okay? Are you out of your senses? Or did you smoke any form of hard drug? What? You heard me. Oscar, where's that coming from? Are you okay? What, what, what is wrong with you? Oscar! Where is he with you? 
What do you think you're doing? Have you lost your senses? Can you see? Can, can you see the gas? <laughs> get, 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 get out of this place! My goodness! Did what? Oscar, you did what? That's because she's smoking her entire destiny by the side of the kitchen, very closer to where the gas is. Mom, that is a lie. What did you say? That is a lie. What are you holding in your hand? I'll pick it up over here. Mom, you see what I've been telling you about? If you don't caution this girl, she'll end up bringing nothing but shame and disgrace to this family. And as for you, Imelda, well, wait until daddy returns. You don't right. say a word of this to your father and stop behaving like a woman. And you, Emel, you should be very ashamed of yourself. Oh. Shut up! And make good use of yourself. Stupid. <laughs>
the 50,000 naira I left in this bank. 50,000? Mm. No, you just send the money. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. I saw Amanda in your room. You saw me? She was in your room, Amanda. Amanda. Yes, she was in your room. Was... Amanda! Yes, I'm sure I left 50,000 naira. <laughs> Amanda! Please come here! Where is the 50,000 naira that they took from this bag? I did not collect any money from your bag. I, I only went to your room to clean it up. I don't miss this place. Give me the 50,000 naira you collected from this bag. And I did not collect anything from your money. Give me my money. What's all this about? 50, 100, 1 million. So much money in this house and I'm not seeing it. Honey, yeah? your precious, untouchable knees has stolen my 50,000 naira. So please beg her to return my money back to me. You can't be serious about this. Amanda. Uncle, I did not collect any money. I did not. Not one. Return my money! Amanda! I did not collect any money from her bag. Please, I don't want stories. Give me my money! Mom! I guess this is the money you're looking for. Grandma, what my mom's money is doing in your bag? That is my bag. That is not my money. I did not see any money or touch any money. That is my bag. I call my mom's oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mom, I guess this is your money. So Amanda is... Amanda is innocent. Uh, after you tell that man to bring the car from the Uncle, please sir. Here's your bag. Leave my presence. Nonsense. Why don't you go to my room to do the first page? Get out! Please let me show you that soft, man. Very much. I'm so disappointed. Shut up! Shut up! That's just how you out. So you will never change. I'm sorry. You can be rid of disgracing yourself before my husband's needs and my son. Show him for the devil, man. Shut up! Don't allow that devil to kill you. Look at the way you've been squeezing yourself before my husband, his niece, and my son. So, you're still the same. You've not changed. So sorry for you, your great grandfather, and your great great grandfather. I'm sorry, man. It's the devil, man. The devil pushed me. It's only you in our family that the devil pushes. And they will push you to where they will catch you one day. Stupid. No, I'm sorry, man. Get out. I'm sorry. Come on. Get away. It's the devil. Let me not see you in my room ever again. Sorry, Whenever he steals, you begin to pretend as if he's a nice man. Sorry, man. He doesn't even know who's my game. Inuri. Thief. Amanda, do you know where he got sent to this house? Especially to me. Do you know how tedious my job is in this house? I don't even have time to go for my very low check and cancel it. Really? Are you sick? So, why are you still working here, knowing your health status? I have bills to pay. My madam doesn't care about any domestic staff in this house, especially me. Yet alone, she sits and eats whatever I prepare. Do you believe that since I stay working in this house, my madam has never dashed a common hundred naira, yet alone knowing my health condition? Yeah. Except for Oga, who sometimes adds 20k extra to my salary. Hmm. This is serious. Really? Is Oga and madam aware of this? No. Ruth, you really need to take care of your health. Like they say. Health is wealth. You're right, I will. But for now, please, the aroma of this food is making me more fat. So, for real. So tell me, Rose, what is that is wrong with you?
I can see that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rose did very good work today. Mm -hmm. Extremely mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rose, Sir. what's the secret? I'm under prepared, it's not me. Mm. It should have known. I'm under prepared my food. Yes. Mm -hmm. What were you doing? I was in the kitchen. Shut up! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's my problem? How dare you allow her close to my pot? Oh, what's the problem? If she goes to cook in the kitchen? I don't see You're enjoying the food? You should be saying thank you. <laughs> Please. You should get me some more. Some more words. Finish one. I don't want to say this. Okay. Before this room will finish, I can ask for one. Then you will be ready to let it. Like incredible. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. You still have soup and egg, but I don't know. Act for one. You feel like that perfect. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Another. I've lost my appetite. Oh, sorry. Honey, mm -hmm. please go ahead and eat your food, okay? This mm -hmm. soup is not even tested by managing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's have it. Let's go ahead and lose your appetite. In fact, thank you for losing your appetite. Huh? What else do you know how to do? You know to detail yourself around the company to stick to myself. You see, you're just a coward. Will you shut your mouth? What's wrong with you? What do you Don't want you know to he's your older brother? What's going on with you? Just keep talking and keep piling up your punishment. When it will come, you'll find out what will happen. Honey, what are you doing? Please take it. Thank for those who don't like it, for those of us who like it, it doesn't like the food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't understand this. Mm -hmm. Even when I cook, you don't eat it like this. It's so unfair. Amanda, everybody liked your food. Did you tell them that I helped you? Yes, ma. Were well, you expecting me to take the glory? Wait, is it the same food we ate? Mm -hmm. ah, it's not sweet. Are you talking about the very food she cooked in the morning or another food? Lina, Lina is a very good cook. No one can impress her with food. <laughs> hey, if both of you are so good, why are you wasting time? I've been making this suggestion severally, but she doesn't like it. Oh, that's alright. We have to stop talking about this right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who you be? Welcome, get Eh? Eh? Welcome. Eh? wait, wait. Eh? Welcome. Eh? Where go? Eh? I beg. Eh? It get what you want me to do for me. Eh? What is that? Eh? See, eh? I beg. I want to write letter to my mama. Letter. Eh? My brother, I don't go to school. Meet Lina. She'll write it for you. Yeah. 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 You know, go to school. Even this is your character, eh? If there be one who carry you go to school before, eh? This is your character, not gonna let them carry you go to school. Eh? You get locked in, not be me born you. Because I forgot to take you open poetry. Eh? To adult like me and you, we don't fail for life. You fail, I fail, oh. Uh, meet Nina, small picking, me lighter for you. No sense. No sense.
Because of what's wrong? I get runny stomach. Oh. Not be the town one or the bill is in my belly, they won't run, leave me safe. What happened to your toilet? This one not the toilet matter. The toilet matter. So what do you need a pen and note for? Oh you don't see I'm eh? You know, see, they know they take shape to shop. Which, uh, uh, I won't write letter go uh, my family has, uh, but I know Sally right. Okay, let me help you with that. Thank you. So, who are you writing the letter to in particular? Eh, hey, now my mama. Eh, now my mama. Alright. Oh, oh, ah! This guy, you no book die, yo. Oh. Eh? I never even tell you what you go write. You know the right go far. You no book die. Ah! Oh, wow. Now, whether my mama go feel ready to write, you might be like. We're adopt on the right message for this. Hey! Me? Oh, my name is Lina, not he. Shut up and I'll twist your mouth for you right now. By the way, where is your sister? Oh, she went to see her friend. Very good. So you, I want you to go to the backyard and wash those clothes. Right now. She's manless. See how big she is. She's less. How does she expect me to wash these clothes now? Oh, Lena, babe, what is the problem? Look at the heap of clothes this mother asked me to wash. Imelda. Imelda is just a silly girl. I know she's just trying to look for your trouble. Just ignore her. Huh? You better not look for my nose. It's okay, it's okay. Amanda is not back here. No. She said now that I should stay in I don't know. It's okay. Just wash it and let it go. Yeah? No. No. In fact, let me guarantee her I can't wash it. Please, let me guarantee her. Do, you don't have to go and meet her. Just come and wash it. <laughs> See this morning. I can hear you this way. Do not go to you. Time I make my intentions known to you. you know, I've been in love with you ever since we left secondary school. Alex, I feel something for you. But I think it's not your time. I know, but I just I just want you to say yes so that I have the assurance that your heart is mine. My heart is always with you. But first, let's focus to make a living. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, I even submitted some of my CVs to some companies around. And I believe something good is coming my way. I pray it comes fast. Yeah. <laughs> I have to be on my way now. So fast. Mm -hmm.
cigars and you smoke? Are you out of your mind? Now state your mission here and get loose. I came to tell you that I can't wash those clothes. It's too right for a young girl like you to give someone your clothes to wash. Especially you're on the wheels. Are you stupid? Now go wash those clothes before I skin you alive. Go right now! Her clothes to wash. What happened to the washing machine? I thought I can't wash it. She slapped me. What? She did what? She slapped me. Lina, get up. Go to your room. time to exchange words with you. But the next time you lay your filthy hands on my sister. Are you okay? You <coughs> stupid. If you don't have respect, don't you have fear for what you kill you? I'm gonna you slap me. No, 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 no. What is going on here? Why don't you go and wreck her? What is going you? on here? Okay, you come out to fight, Abby. Wrestlers. Okay. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. We'll fight now. At the count of five, eh? Mm -hmm. The fight will begin. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. What's this noise you're, you're, you're bringing everywhere? Yes, yes, I'm all there. What is? Does this place look like a, a wrestling ground? Allow me to fight, Jare. Hey, hey, four. I'm talking and... to you. Yeah, hey, don't hey, hey, respect for what? Hey, hello, what is it? Can you imagine? I, I don't know what I'm saying. I was a child and I. And the both of you, what's going on here? Amanda, what happened? Can you imagine? I went out to see my friend, only for me to return and see my sister washing Imelda's dirty clothes. And she slapped me. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Imelda, what is wrong with you? Are you not tired of trouble in this house? No, tell me, why did dad send you to school? Don't you stand there like a dumb? Answer me! Are you mad? You think I don't know you're having an affair with Amanda? Eh? You shameless me good. Try it. Excuse me? Try it again. Because no. <coughs> Is something wrong with you? I thought I don't give you. I don't have to laugh because of Amanda. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? Are you saying that someone who has people like you in the house cannot sleep and rest? Cannot. You're making trouble amongst us. I'm so disappointed in you. Instead of you to live together as one family. No. You're troubling yourselves, fighting and quarreling all the time. And then the idiot they call Ray couldn't even do anything when he was there. He left you people and to quarrel and he left. Now he's nowhere to be found. I want to know what happened and what caused this quarrel. Daddy. I am not talking to you. Elena. Uncle. Mother gave me almost all her clothes to wash. I told her I can't wash them. So she slapped me. I was washing them when my sister returned. I told her about it and then she went to come to her. And what happened? Amanda. I asked her why she slapped my sister, and then she slapped me, and I returned the slap. That was when Oscar walked out and asked what the problem was. Next thing, she accused Oscar and I of having a secret affair, and then Oscar slapped her to mind her words. And then you decided to break your brother's head with a bottle? What if he had died? What do you want to become? A street girl? A useless girl? 
Is that what you want to become? Now three of you, just get out of my sight. Get out now. In everything you look for preferential treatments. And that's what you just portrayed now. Huh? Everybody's involved really? in this house. And you anybody who is wrong, you are pushing the blame. You didn't even listen this to This is not what you are going to continue doing. Is this how you want to train this girl? You are influencing her negatively and it's not good. It's not you true. are a mother. Forget. Don't forget you are still a mother. You really just send it to her. You ask her the question. It's preferential treatment. Uh, what is your brother? Here? I swear, I would think with this girl. I should regret the day she was born. And I would never pay for everything she has really gone through. Um, how are you feeling now? A little bit better though, but still feel some pains up here. I'm so sorry, I wouldn't have gotten you into it. Come on, Lena. You did the right thing, my dear. Tell me, would you ever love your sister going to a fight with Imelda? No. So you don't blame yourself, okay? I'll be fine. Do you need anything that we get for you? Um, um, nothing for now, my dear. I think you just have this appetite. Don't you know he needs to rest? Get out of here this minute! Get out! Oscar, you need to rest. Okay, let her come back when you are feeling much better. Mom, I'm not complaining, and she's she's not disturbing me. Let her stay. It's okay. Um, I came to check up on you to know how you are faring and also to apologize on behalf of your sister. Well, I just told you I'm fine and as for my sister, Emelda, she just been nothing. I have nothing against her. It's okay. Thank you so much, Oscar. Thank you, Mom, for checking up on me. Thank you. Just leave. No, 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 come on. Come on, tell me some stories. Okay. Well, that's in the <laughs> Okay.
Are you going out? No. Okay. Have you eaten? Yes. Okay. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? It's about Rose. Rose? What is it with her? Is she tired of her job or what? No, not at all. So, what is it? She, she confided in me that she's HIV positive. She, she's been living with it before she got employed here. But she's on medications. How? Where? Since when? Before she came to this house? What did she tell me? No, 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 uncle, please. She said I should not tell anyone. Yes, but please. I need to find out. What exactly she's doing about it? I mean, okay, you go and call her. Tell her I want to see her. Just tell her I want to see her. And let me handle the rest. Yes, uh, Rose. Um, sit down. Come, sit, sit, sit. Come, come. I don't want to shout. Sit. Now, a mother just told me something. I'm, I'm shocked. She told me that you confided in her that you are HIV positive. It's nothing to worry about. I mean, uh, when did this happen? I mean, was it before you came into this house? Yes, sir. You should have told me. So that's not something you just tell anybody. Yes, I, I understand, but I, I, I'm free. I'm somebody you could have talked to. It's hard. Oh, come on, Rose. All this while you should have told me. Okay, but are, are you on medication? Yes, they give me jobs in the hospital. And you have been keeping to those drugs? Very well. You see how the medication? Yes, sir. Can, can you bring the medication? I should bring it. Yes. Let me take a look at it. You see, the problem is that I have a couple of friends who, you know, are in the same condition. And I know I want to check and be sure you're taking the right medication. I found this in our room. Yes. So, we're taking HIV drugs without letting me know. Can you just come? What is going on so for me? Come ask me. You ask the question. Not for, me. not for you. It's not for me. And for who then? Okay, now listen to me. Earlier in the day, Amanda had uh, approached me telling me that Rose was HIV positive Jeez. and was taking medication. Rose? Yes. So I had to call Rose to confirm. And of course, she confirmed this to me and uh, showed me the medication she had been taking. And this is part of it. Uh, 
Well, when she told me she had been taking the medication, I had to ensure she had been going for counseling and regular viral, viral load check, which she confirmed she has been Excuse going me, for honey. Rose actually is a HIV patient and she hid it away from the rest of the family and cooks for us to eat. Honey, no. This is a no, no, no for me. She's not going to remain in this house again. Okay, Please. I've heard you. She has to leave this house. She has to work out. I don't want it. Dearest husband, please. I am done with this. You've given the money. Okay. Allow her to go. You've given her the money. You didn't give her enough. It's, it's okay, Rose. You can, you can start. Okay. Going. Now, wow, eh? So now, so God just finally bless you, eh? That sickness now can open door for you, so. My brother, now so I see him, but it's good. At least I'll start a new face in my life. <laughs> you see, I saw you the only stop. Who's so open the gate? Who's so open the gate? Now, sickness now can open door for you. Open <laughs> gate. Oh, if there's one person I'll not meet in this house with you, I'm going to open If you like, give me go. Open gate, let me go. Take care of the house. Yeah. I make sure take care of it. I make sure. I'm gonna pray for my own sickness so that the sickness will come open door for me. I'll be every time. Also open the gate. Open the gate. Yeah. My new secretary. <laughs> Go and make us proud. <laughs> My baby. You can trust me on that. Mm -hmm. And you need to be careful. You know what I mean, right? Don't forget to cover your lessons. Oh, that. Okay, I've heard you. That's my baby. <laughs> finish up, finish up. You'll be late. <laughs> I'm almost done. You look beautiful. Thank you, <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> Alright, um, Oscar. Yes, ma'am. Um, you go 
through this proposal, okay. go through the details, and uh, do a proposal, and uh, do a budget for it, so that we can submit it for the minor contract. Very important. You need to be careful. Okay? Okay, then I will just take it to my office and I will you do that yes. to the budget and everything. I just gave you the budget for money unlimited. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sir, was your company called? Ah, uh, good. What did they say? Saying they want the percent to be 50-50. 50-50. Well, you know, this time we were looking for contracts. And 50-50 is not a bad deal. I mean, for a start. So we can raise the volume to the water. I told them that it has to be 60-40. 60-40? Basement Africa is a company with a lot of difference. Every of our projects is 100% guaranteed. So I see no reason why we have to share the percentage equally with a smaller firm. Oh. Do you think you should have told them that? Considering the fact that we are the ones looking for contracts. I agree with her that she has a point. I mean, Business Africa is a company with great difference. If anybody wants partnership with Business Africa, they will definitely come knocking on our door. So, let's give it a try. Well, so you're using quality as a Springboard. Okay. Good enough? I hope they buy it. Of course. I'm not sure. Alright. Okay. Um, let me have a document. Okay. Uh, I'll look at it later. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will try to help you uh, go through it and uh, fix the project. Yeah. You are the team leader for this one, so you can decide who goes with you. But I think she will be good. She has strong negotiation skills. That's one thing I like about her. Okay. Possible. Can I take it home? Sure. So long you give your time to it. Fine by me. Okay. All right. That's great. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Amanda. Yeah. I want you to know that this is Basement Africa. So let's make it proud. Sure. I know. <laughs> Come to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited when you're calling me What's the good news? Yes, sir. Ozil company called. Really? Yes, sir. They finally accepted our terms and conditions. And they're ready to pay immediately. You read that? <laughs> this is nice. Good news. So what are we waiting for? Why don't you just prepare the documents and things to the accounts department? Send them the details so that you can pay. Thank you, sir. This is a good one for me. Thank you. Amanda, another one to your box. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is nice. Send the powers. Okay. Wow. What intelligence. This is what I thought I never saw. I said this. Amy, ah, this one, Amy. 
Bimyo. What's the problem? Ah, my dear. Oh, everything is the problem. Everything. Where I'm sitting, where you are standing, everything is the problem. Eh? Let me take my leg, go that church. And now I for sit down for back. Oh, I just go front. Say, make a praise God. Where, where? Eh? Now that pastor they deliver me from asthma. Went for give me money. Ha! Pay me ho. So, just because you were delivered, that's why you're angry. Ah! You know, rich novels. See, on that five months, nine rules, baby sars, they don't settle out with 500,000. Five months. Mm. For small HIV. You won't take and take compare uh, asthma. Eh? See, what I tell you, eh? HIV, the dead body, Mexico, your daily. Kuzo, you're incredible. No, wait, let me tell you. Eh? See, calculate six years. When I don't do these gates, say they decide to pay me gratuity and their pension and they even wardrobe allowance. As who gets asthma, you know, sis, I for don't have her. I would have been a millionaire. He paid me, oh, he paid me. Mm -hmm. I'm late for lesson. Come and open the gates. Oh, you're going. Yeah. Now I will calculate what I tell you. I will pay you. Now you get the asthma. Not be my asthma, I lost. I'm my best man, love you, Ashman. Baby, oh. ah. Baby. Mommy, I'm hungry. There's a little food in the kitchen. No food in the kitchen. Uh, whose turn is it to cook? It's me, but you know I don't know how to cook. Imelda, mm -hmm. I am ashamed of you. Mommy, please, just help me this once. I will really appreciate it, please. Imelda, are you not ashamed of yourself? Just yesterday, you ate and enjoyed food prepared by Lena. Mm. But you, nothing. Not only that you're complaining you are hungry, you are going to leave everybody in this house hungry because you don't know how to cook. I am ashamed of you. But what are we going to eat today? Get out of my room this minute. Oh my goodness, who is going to do this for me now? Get my room! Yeah. Yes, about that thing. I, I want you to remember everything like we discussed. Yes. Especially the time and place. Please don't fail me. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.
wow, this is so good. <laughs> Today is good news. Oh, this is beautiful yeah. news. <laughs> In fact, this is the best news I have ever heard since the establishment of this company. Again, it is worthy to note that this is the first time our company is doing a contract of two billion. Wow. We're doing something like that. It's nice. And this cannot be done and completed without thanking those behind this. First of all, my able son, Oscar, <laughs> for facilitating these proposals. I remember when he was doubling as my personal secretary. Yes. <laughs> Before I now move to the dexterity of our charming daughter, <laughs> Thank you. Amanda. Amanda, honestly, I'm saying this in front of you. Your level of intelligence in weaving through that company, presentation of the proposal, my God, it was something else. Hey, can Thank we just, you. Can we drink to this? Can Thank we, you so much. Hey, can we just drink and to this? Yes, we will. Thank you too for the support. If you hadn't given him good food, Maybe his yeah. brain will not have been. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. This calls for celebration. Of course. Exactly. Oscar, you know what to do? Of course, that. Go to the bar. Wine. <laughs> bring I'll everything. I'll and when you're coming, sister. call okay. your sisters. All right. Call your sisters. Uh, call Lina. Call uh, Lina. Yeah. Now, Bonnie, Bonnie, remember those things I tell you? Yes. This is I need. Yeah. Oh, I need. All your Auntie. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, sir. Uncle, there's something I want to tell you. Yeah, let's sit down. Uncle, a friend of mine wants to see you. We actually went to the same secondary school, but he's now working with Crystal Oil. No, oh, Crystal Oil. Yes, sir. He wants to see me. Yes, sir. It's interesting. So when is he coming? Tomorrow evening, sir. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, ma. Honey, you are the one giving this girl so much leverage to do stupid things in this hour. How can she just walk in here and tell you that she will be bringing him a man to this house, and you readily say yes? I'm sure you heard her well. Don't twist this thing, please. She just said a man wants to come and see me. You don't even know if she was telling you the truth. You didn't even ask any question. All you did was, okay, come to my house. And who does that? Come on. No, come no, on. Don't just come on me. Don't Let the man come first. Can't shave a man's hair in his absence. No. No. Sometimes I find it difficult to really understand the man I'm married. He, he, this girl just walked in there with the man to come to my house, and my husband said, Come! Oh, goodness! Don't make a mountain. Excuse me, I hope you can get of an auntie. I'm talking about my natural because I don't know some funny things. That's what you should say. in an hour's time. You must be mad. So I should wait in an hour time before I can eat. Just hurry up and finish that food right now. Immediately. Yeah. I give you 20 minutes.
class told me a lot about you. And uh, I have also heard all you have uh, said since you came. Uh, it's okay. But uh, this family we have principles. I earlier promised Amanda that I will give her a good quality education. And uh, I still stand by that. By so doing, you will have to wait for her to run off with her school. You can come back again and then we will discuss. No problem. Ah, great. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, well, thank you for the drink because uh, you don't come to me. You don't come with my. Wait, that's the man that was born. No, no, no. Grab our country. Fresh. Based on the series of investigation we carried out on your daughter, we came up with uh, the diagnosis of end stage renal disease. <laughs> Doctor, please, can you just be clear? Huh? Is my daughter alive? She's alive. It is end stage kidney failure. Hey! <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. My daughter's kidney is gone? Calm what down. can we do? Calm to down. Talk? She will be fine. At least we can start with dialysis for now. Dialysis. And if it doesn't work, we can talk of kidney transplant. She is. <sighs> she will be fine. Doctor, Doctor, please. Don't worry. She will be fine. Do anything within your power oh, no, to we'll... see that my daughter gets back to her. Oh, I'd like to take my name. She was smoking, you were covering her. This the heat is too much. Don't just start, please. Don't start. Is she gonna die? If she doesn't get the transplant, she will die. I feel for her. I wish I could give her money. Don't say that again. Did you hear me? I'm gonna wait to wait. I'm gonna wait to wait. I need to know exactly what is going on. The doctor would have come to us to tell us. I don't know. I'm just confused. No? That's why I asked uh, Oscar to leave. <sighs> ah. Thank God. No. You back outside? Yeah, Dad. Do you want to do more? No, man. No, man. Hi, Sheila. The good thing is she's alive. Thank God. Praise God. Thank God. Praise and, uh, God. The doctor also said that we now have a dinner. A good Samaritan who's ready to donate a kidney for the transplant. <laughs> Do it! Yes. Oh. I, don't I don't know. I told the doctor to, to at least show me the person so I can show my appreciation. But the doctor refused. He said the person don't want to be seen. You didn't mean the person, the woman or a man? Whether it's a woman or a man, I don't know. The... But I don't mean to be selfish. My only joy is that we now have a good Samaritan who's ready to donate kidney for my only sister. Yes, I just want to keep the identity. Yes. Yes. Do we still have such people in this world? But my joy is that the good Samaritan has come to save our my sister. Yes. yes. And uh, the doctor also said that... Uh, the doctor said he would want you and mom to come to the hospital since the operation is commencing anytime soon. Yeah, I know. The usual thing. We need to sign one or two papers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please, what good news? Jesus.
Well, it's worthy of note that um, I had promised Amanda that I was going to give her a sound education. That you will get. And if you desire to study abroad, I will support you no matter what it costs. Oh, thank you so much. You're my daughter. No matter what, I will support you. Okay? Thank you. Are you serious about this? Oh, certainly. What Amanda has contributed to this family through the office business. It's enormous. Thank you so much, Dad. You're the best dad in the world. It's okay, like I said, everyone is equal in this house. You did your masters abroad, she'll do hers too abroad. <laughs> I've already eaten. What did you eat? I had the same thing you were eating. When? When you were at work. So, how was work today? Well, it was fine. Okay. It went well, right? Mm-hmm. Any problems? No. Oh, this is delicious, isn't it? <laughs> I've tasted it already. I don't want. <laughs> Sure? I'm okay, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Eat, I want your tummy to full. Why are you looking at the food? Nothing, mm. nothing. <laughs> What's the problem? What's that? It's not good. Water now. Sorry, maybe it's warm. Oh my god, maybe I didn't wash the fish well. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Sister? Sister? What is it? Drink water. Oh my god. Lord. Sister? Somebody help. Sister? Sorry, sorry. Should I give you what that was? Oh God! <laughs> Sister! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> From the autopsy report shows she ingested cyanide. Who put cyanide in her food? Cyanide? How come? Who did this? Who met with her? One more thing, sir. This is totally out of place. I'm not supposed to say this, but because I've been the family doctor for years, I just have to say this. Now that she's no more, she was actually the one who donated her kidney. What? Amanda? Yes. 
I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Sir, please just take it easy. I beg to take my leave so, so as to attend to other patients. Thank you. Madam, please. <laughs> Tell me you don't have a hand in this. I begged her to keep it a secret, just like I did. But, no. Amanda, the good girl. Amanda this, Amanda that. She told my boss. And I was relieved of my duties. And I was given a check. Exactly my point. Still not enough reason for you to kill her. You were settled. Yes, I was settled. I was settled with 500,000. But I went to the bank. I cashed out the check. On my way, I just needed a place to rest for the night and then go back home the next day and on my way I was robbed I wasn't just robbed I was beaten if they had beaten me alone he would have been fine. I was raped not just by one, 
but by two men. And they made away with everything and left me with nothing. Not even a single pen. I was beaten, battered, and left to die. I had no money to send to my sick parents in the village. I had no money to start up anything or do anything with my life. Now tell me. Tell me what I was supposed to do. Each time I remember all that happened, all I could see was one face, one name, Amanda. So I killed her. And if given an opportunity, I will do it again. Damn all the consequences. She's the reason for everything that has happened to me. She's the reason we are here right now. So right now, I don't care.